One of the most uh, interesting and exciting developments in the IT industry in recent times has been the advent of a large number of uh, entrepreneurial innovative companies uh, in this space driven by young entrepreneurs bubbling with new ideas. The 10,000 Startups program is an early stage incubation and nurturing program that NASCOM has put together to help foster and grow the entrepreneurial ecosystem here in India. It's one of the best decisions we ever made to apply at the 10,000 Startup Program. We were desperately looking for someone to help us because we didn't know anything about how to run startups, how to grow our business and things like that. An initiative like this, uh, partnered by people at NASCOM as well as large enterprises like Google, Microsoft and Kotak, I think is very, very necessary so that the bright young talent of this country does a lot more than just decide to take up their next job. We were selected for first batch of Startup Warehouse at 10,000 startups. We've uh, met with a lot of mentors, potential investors, you know, fellow entrepreneurs here. It just gives you so much energy. We've been very fortunate that in the last uh, several months, we've been able to bring some of the best startups uh, to the Accelerator program in Bangalore. Uh, the warehouse has been really helpful uh, in terms of both mentorship, uh, space, uh, customer connects, uh, and, uh, and a lot of other uh, such activities. Thanks to Startup Warehouse, we have got immediate start uh, from day one. We've been here at NASCOM Warehouse now for about four, four months. It's been a great uh, experience for us. We got introduced to a lot of uh, accelerators, and in fact, we joined Kairan Accelerator as part of 10,000 startups, and it helped us also to pivot into our existing product. Some of the startup programs that have participated in the, in the program have been able to connect with large platform players like Intel, Google, Microsoft, uh, some of the largest retailers in the world, Walmarts, Tesco's, Targets. At a very early stage, what a startup requires is the capital and uh, the connections, uh, which is what essentially NASCOM 10,000 startups have been providing us. We got a lot of exposure into talking to a lot of the investors and uh, accelerator programs. A selection from NASCOM is almost like you being funded by a, by a fund and you know it gives a lot of validation to your product concept. The power was shifted from the investors and accelerators towards the entrepreneur. The program has become more well-rounded. Um, initially the focus was only on getting startups and creating a database of startups but now um, there has been uh, Aspiring entrepreneurs as well are full of the program. The first area that we really wanted to change was the level of awareness, the awareness around the massive set of opportunities that existed for entrepreneurs in India to build technology startups. Uh, I think by and large, we've managed to increase the level of awareness at least by three or four times. And in this particular event, we had very high quality startups, about six of them that actually participated to get funding within a matter of about 15 minutes to the point of decision with investor. The beauty of the, the, the initiative and the collaboration has been that we were able to kind of you know, work together with NASCOM and actually drive a lot of uh, uh, knowledge and also drive a lot of uh, initiatives into the deep hearted uh, communities of startup communities that you find in tier 2 and tier 3 cities because these were hitherto so much um, unknown to the, to the ecosystem outside. So 
we look forward to an excellent uh, set of activities that will come up in the, in the upcoming year. Uh, lots more startups that we'll be able to impact. Continue the momentum. Uh, in terms of awareness building, in terms of on the ground events, but also actually address probably two or three uh, constraints that are already emerging. I'd like to see a Facebook born in India, I'd like to see a LinkedIn born in India, I'd like to see a Twitter born in India. And that's where I think we need to invest in mindset changes of these young people so that they also think that they can do the next big thing right out of here in India. A number of policy inputs based on the uh, funding uh, uh, requirements on regulatory issues, on infrastructural support, and uh, so on, uh, which have emerged through this experience, would actually enable NASCOM to provide policy inputs to the government and ensure that government policies are also supportive of this entire ecosystem.